Oh, right. You know what? While we wait for people to file in and stuff, why don't we, why don't we go do something? Why don't we, why don't we go do a little bit of the thingy do? Uh, because it's gonna, it's gonna take a little, pe a little while for people to roll in. Let's go, um, let's go, let's go pay for some, uh, Temi education, you know? Yeah. All right, ride the boat. Yeah. Where are we going today? Waterfall. Oh, right. Hotland. Wait, what? But... What? But... Uh, uh, but... The waterfall is the other direction. What? What? You know what? <laughs> I give up. Okay, let's go buy some stuff. Uh, it's actually... You know what? We gotta leave for this one. There we go. Uh, exit. Uh, we gotta... We gotta make some room in our inventory before we can do some... Some Temi... Uh, cheesing. How much can I put away? There we go. I wonder if they'll buy the, uh, unicycle. I don't know. Anyway, uh... I believe glasses are what we're looking for here. All right, we're gonna go pay some, pay for some cats, uh, cat, cat, dog, cat. We're gonna pay for some Tammy College, uh, cause I don't know what else I'm gonna do with myself. I, I figured that would be a really reasonable thing to start off with. However, this does bother me a little bit, owing to the fact that we're literally paying for their college by selling them items at an inflated price, and then go back and stuff. Yet I don't ca complain about. Sans being able to teleport to Grillby's. Nah, he knows a shortcut. He knows what he's doing. The boatman, though. How do you get to a place that's to the right by going left? Unless this world is circular, at which point it very well could be. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whoa. You got a cloud glass. <laughs> I gotta have that cloud glass. But I gotta pay for college. Uh, yeah. Temi. Temi always wants cloud glasses. Uh, 10 by clock glass for 51 gold. No! But, but, but. Okay, 10 by clock glass for 65 G. No! You will regret this. <laughs> okay. That was worthwhile. Oh, and the unicycle does not sell at a particularly inflated price here. Oh, that's a shame. Well, let's go back. We're, we're going to pay for some, uh... We're going to pay some heavy... Heavy Temi, uh, education. By fleecing... Temmies for all they're worth? I really... I really feel like a monster. You know what, this is... This is the true, like, amoral decision that you make in, uh, Undertale. Do you screw Temi over? Like, yeah, the whole genocide thing is, you know, pretty reprehensible and whatnot. But in this case, I am literally scamming Temi to go to college. I'm not really sure how this works, but still. Let's see. Uh, let's, well, let's buy some more claw glass. Bird got through the game without, uh, Temi armor. I didn't even know if there's Temi armor. At this point, I'm just sending, I'm just sending Temi to college. <laughs> I don't even care about armor. Oh, man. I don't know. I, fig I figured this would be a good way to kind of start tonight off. You know, the stream off, the, the episode off. I don't even know if this is going to make it on YouTube. But I figured this would be a nice little way to cheese a ton of money up fairly quickly. And who knows? <laughs> Maybe there's more dialogue, sh dialogue options there. I have no idea. Either way. This is just silly. Hi! Welcome to the Tem Shop. Alright, let's just... You know, I feel like I should just sell the unicycle. Yeah. Whoa! You got the time glass. Clog glass. Oh, Tam always wanted a clog glass. No. Puh, puh, puh. Okay. Clog glass for 65G. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are we are definitely we are definitely making muddy here. Alright. Whoa. Temi armor is really strong, apparently. I'll have to take a look at that one. For starters, I, I think we're just going to stick to what we've already got, and then we'll look into Temi Armor. That said, I mean, if it's actually pretty cheap, then I'll go for it. 
but I'm going to be spending a thousand gold just to just to send Temi off to college. So I can't imagine this is going to be particularly cheap. <laughs> Reason Temi needs to go to college is to learn how money works, because <laughs> Temi clearly doesn't know how money works. Uh, I think Temi also just doesn't understand the law of conservation of matter, uh, as well as like many other things, most likely. Oh wait, that's a notebook. Whoops. Well, let's see if the notebook sells for more. Otherwise, I might have just wasted some money. We'll see. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna kick my feet back, and we're just gonna we're just gonna let this happen. It's a really peaceful game, especially this area. I've been listening to nonstop uh, OC remixes of Undertale uh, recently. Remixes, the soundtrack, and like acapella versions, rock versions. I don't know. It's nice. Okay. So apparently it's 7,000 gold for the Temi armor. Oh boy, we're not affording that anytime soon. Not unless I really feel like cheesing some things. Well, either way. Okay, so they just buy everything for 50, so we actually wasted... We... We actually wasted some... Uh, cash there. Well, whatever. I mean, ultimately... That's not a big deal. Okay. The Temi armor, uh, no, Temi armor, the Temi, Temi music is a little bit meh. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't want to listen to it for too long. But I guess that's kind of the point. The waterfall zone definitely has that, like, just nice haunting thing. Which is great. I don't know. I, I've, I've heard some particularly good, uh, pretty good remixes involving, you know, just that basic background music. <laughs> okay. That was kind of great. Okay, so cloudy glasses it is. I assume Temmie's only by like food stuff the other way. Okay, Dog Song is the best. Dog Song is pretty pretty great. Honestly, uh I I per personally actually prefer uh Asgore's sound song. I don't know. I have yet to actually get to that fight, but I've heard the song, and I'm just like, oh, I can't wait. Uh, and the other song I really like is actually Papyrus's theme. I don't know if it's been, like, drilled into my mind. Uh, but it just, I don't know. It's just such a perfect song for the character in comparison to, like, all the other ones. I don't know. Well, let's see. Clawed glass. Will we have enough? Oh, we got the claw glass. No. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, let's buy, uh, 10 pay, pay for college. Buy for 1,000 gold. Yes. Wow! That's a lot of mods! Can, can them really accept? Okay, Tem go to college and make you prouds. Step back from Kuleg. Tem learned many things. Learn to sell new item, yeah, yeah. Boy, welcome to the Tem shop. Have Temi armor. <laughs> armor 20 defense makes battles too easy. All right. Well, see you later. <laughs> okay. Um. Use the box. Hell yeah. Let's get our sh let's get our ship back. Actually, we don't need the snowman piece, do we? We can just carry it around. Okay. Uh. I think I have a lot of, I think I have a lot of G. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go buy whatever food I can. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, if you need the armor, you can afford it. Yeah, I figured as much. So uh, according to chat, that 9,999 gold armor does get cheaper every time I die. So if we end up hitting a brick wall in this game, I'll go grab it. For the time being, though, I'm. Um, just going to play the game normally because obviously if I put that on it's going to make everything just way too easy I don't want to deal with that so bye okay good we can get two crab apples and that leaves one inventory space see you later okay let's go back to Hotland finally uh was there a save point back here no well there should one be one before we run into trouble ride the boat hell yeah Hotland. No, it doesn't. 
I don't even know what no it doesn't refers to. Oh, that's not a big deal. <sighs> Let's see. What game can you play with a dog? Oh, what's a game you can play with a dog? Asking for a friend. I don't even know what that's referring to. Well, whatever. Oh, I see. It makes the game... It doesn't make the game too easy. That makes sense. Well. Looks like we got... Yep, there's the, there's the uh, save point. Seems such a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. Yay. Sorry, Undyne. Like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, uh, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nah. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway. We'll do our best, Mrs. Undyne. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we're going to the lab. Well, that's freaky. <laughs> it's you? It's too dark to see the walls. Okay. So I guess we gotta go find a light switch first. Or something. Well, that's bright. Oh! Oh my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon! I, I haven't showered! I'm barely dressed! It's all messy! And... Uh. Hiya! Uh, I'm Dr. Elphis. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. B -b -b uh, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, uh, um, been observing your journey through my console. Y your fights, y your friendships, everything! I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. S so, uh, uh, now I want to help you. Y you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. No problem! But, well, actually, um, it was just a teeny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an, an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I just got decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti, anti-human combat features? Uh, of co course, uh, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Uh, unfortunately, I may have made a TC mistake when doing so. And, um... Now it's an unstoppable killing machine with uh, thirst for human blood. <laughs> but, um... Hopefully we won't run into him? No. <laughs> Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Oh boy. I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! Metaton attacks. Uh, Metaton. Check. Metaton, 10 attack, 999 defense. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, mercy. Ha ha ha, you wish. Wrong. The quiz show continues. Metaton, cry. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Uh, uh, Asgore Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer! The quiz show continues. Mediton, cry! Screaming is against the rules. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Uh... 
Uh, metal and magic! Too easy for you, huh? Quiz show continues. Metaton, cry. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously depart station A and station B. Ah, oh, fuck. Um. Ah! <laughs> wrong, wrong, the answer is wrong. Okay, that was bad. Uh, I've lost my unicycle. All right, let's eat a bicycle. All right, you need one half of the bicycle. Let's see. Oh. Don't count your victory. How many jars are of... Uh, uh, fuck. 55, completely and utterly wrong. All right, uh, no, spare's not gonna work. Act, med, no, hmm. Oh, act, medicine, cry. Screaming against the rules. Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? Oh, that, that, I mean, that. Boy, that's embarrassing. What? You're a dick. All right, we're eating the unicycle. Okay. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? What the hell's up with my timer? Yeah, I'm just not gonna answer this one. Can I, like... Can I, like... Can I do anything here? Huh. Well... What does this number even mean? Uh... Well... Heck yeah! Great answer! I love it! The quiz show continues. Crap. Oh, nope. We don't want to use an item. Uh, I'm out of time. Keep crying! Screaming is against the rules. Here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name Metaton? Well, I'm gonna go with... What the fuck? God damn it! What are all of these? No! No! Can't you read? The quiz show continues. <laughs> okay, screaming is still against the rules. Time to break out the big guns. In a dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie was the new... Oh! In the fourth chapter, ever, she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's a snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it! It's one of my favorite parts of the game! I've actually been a very powerful message about friendship and... Elphus, Elphus, Elphus. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask you a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Elphus have a crush on? Undyne! See, Elphus! I told you it was too obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of the two of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Elphus helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. <laughs> well, that was certainly something. I'm gonna look at this stuff. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait! Let, let me give you my f f phone number. Then m maybe if if you need help, I could... Wh where do you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have a texting. Wait a second. Please. Here. I upgraded it for you. It can do texting. Items. It's got a keychain. Ivan Signal signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hee. Uh. 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 I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Uh. Now that the fight's over, if you looked at Elphis, she made the letters of the answer with her hands. Oh. 
Well then. <laughs> well then. Okay. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like the notes to something. It's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game or a garbage can. But it's pretty cute. Well, let's keep going. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Is he just... Alright. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. It's a bathroom sign. Well, okay. <laughs> Which game do you prefer? Kissy Mew Mew 1 or Kissy Mew Mew 2? Preferably, I like uh, 1.5. That's where they explain all the backstory stuff. Uh, let's see, scientific books, they all seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside the book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a... Oh, we've already read that. Well, that's dumb. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Okay. Looks like Elphus's work table. Seems dusty. Okay. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with a pink fish on the lamp shade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Great. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flip on the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. And I can't look at that one. Okay, well. Uh oh right. Did we actually check the fridge? No. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Take it. You got the instant noodles. You're going to probably want to eat those. Actually, you know what? There's a save point directly outside. From what I remember. So we might as well just kind of march our ass back to it, save, and keep going. Okay. You're filled with determination. You know, I should probably actually make backups of this save just in case I lose any of the footage. Don't think I'm going to, but still. Well. That is creepy that we have a giant thing. Okay. You use them in battle, they heal more. Ah. Well, is my inventory full? I actually don't know. Oh, I can't take any more instant noodles than that. Okay. Well, that makes it easy enough. Let's just let's just keep going along. Alpha's updated status. I just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Oh. Hey, Cell. Uh, Papyrus and Undyne. Ring, ring. Neither of us know anything about Hotland. So we'll just have to combine our power. Zero plus zero is still zero. Yeah, but it's a big zero. Okay, we're gonna go back to Alphys' lab. Alright, Cell. So. Ring, ring. You're at Alphys' lab? Is she there? Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything. And wait, no, don't ask any of that. Let's see. Toriel's phone. Nobody picked up. Wait, what? Dimensional box A? Oh, what? Oh. Dimensional box B? I have a dimension box now. Okay, that's really useful. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Great. Elvis updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Oh, this is good music. Hotland is nice. Vulcan strolls in. Vulcan, check. Vulcan, 8 attack, minus 10 defense. Mistakenly believes it's lava that, uh, it's lava can heal people. Oh, God. Thunder, helpful speed up! Ah, we're staying away from that. We're staying away from all of these things they hurt. Okay, Vulcan par parades around the room. Um. Uh, we're gonna try criticizing it. You tell the Vulcan that its attacks are not helpful. Ah, not helping! Okay. Vulcan stands in the corner. Oh. Okay, we're gonna try hugging it. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. And your whole body. Ouch, your defense dropped. Ah, so lovey. Yeah. This is not what I expected when I hugged the volcano creature. 
Vul Vulcan's cheeks glow with bright heat. Spare. You won. Why does it have like a little death icon uh, image there? Alpha's updated the status. Gonna call him in a minute. Okay. Well, this is kind of fun. Oh, let's see. I guess we get another save point. Yay. What does this one say, actually? The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Okay. Alpha's updated status. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. LMAO. Now, can I do this? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Cinder plane. Cinder plane. Seems mean, but does it secretly like you? No way. Why would I like you? Ah. Oh god, attack jet trails. That's a new one. Cinder plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Cinder plane. Uh, flirt. You tell Cinder plane that it is an impressive wingspan. Huh? You sicko. Oh god. This is not what I wanted! Uh, smells like the air airport perfume counter. Cinder Plane, approach. You get close to Cinder Plane, but not too close. <laughs> Human! Oh, wait, wait. Ow. I see. Cinder Plane gives you a condescending barrel roll. Nope, not done yet. Ah ha ha! Approach. Uh, eh, Human! I got a vague idea of how to suit her plane. Okay, there we go. Suitor plane looks over, then turns up its nose. Spare. You won. You got 60 gold. Yay! I'm gonna go back for healing. That hurts really bad. Okay. So now I understand how the Suitor plane works. But at the same time... I feel like this would be extraordinarily painful. Alpha's updated status. OMG, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh, OMG, I'm just, I'm gonna do it. I, I'm gonna call. Well, what do we got up here? Ring, ring. Click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. I don't know if this is the right way to go. You know what? I'm gonna say this is the wrong way to go. Go from there. Let's go this way and see if we can explore a little. Who knows? It was worthless. No, nope, maybe not. I have no idea. Okay, Pyro bounds towards you. Act, Pyro. Uh, invite. You invite Pyro to hang out. Sorry, I'm all tied up. This seems like a... Oh, I got it. Weirdly enough, pass through the fire bits. Pyro is pretending to pull the fire alarm. Okay, Pyro. Uh, heat up. You crank up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. Hot! Hot! Hotter! Hotter! They're all wiggly. This is not comfortable. Maybe? I don't know. Can't tell. Pyro wants more heat. Pyro, heat up! You crank up the thermostat. It's super hot. Pyro looks satisfied. Hot! Hot! Hotter! Hotter! Oh, what the? Oh, these are bombs. These are totally 110% bombs! Okay, room is sweltering. Spare... You won. You earned some amount of gold that I can't read right now. I don't know which direction is the right way to go, so let's save again. Unfortunately, since I can't level up in this game, I'm pretty much at the mercy of my own skill here, which is rough. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the top. And let's see how this goes. Ring. Uh. Ha hi. So the blue lasers. Uh. I mean, Alpha's here. Hi. Uh, the blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving and they, um, or they won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, bye. Click. Alpha's updated status. OMG, I did it. Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask me about the weather. Alpha's updated status. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Ow. Ooh. Ah. I got it. Ah! Oh, I... 
Eh. Eh. This is kind of Satan. Eh. Okay. I'm getting the hang of these things, maybe, lasers. It's a switch. Press it, please. Thank you. Okay. Alpha updated status. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Alpha's posted picture. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Ring. Uh, Elf is here. Uh, the, the northern door will stay locked until you... Solve the puzzles on the right and left. I, uh, I, I think you should go to the right first. Click. No! I'm a rebellious child in some ways. Ring. Uh, Elf is here. Uh, th that blue laser seems totally impassable. B but as the royal scientist, I, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll, I'll, I'll hack into the Hotline Laser database and take it over. Click. Thank you. Whoops. We were, uh, we were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules! They gotta cancel school over this! Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can... Well, uh... I guess we'll just keep standing here. Okay. What? Uh... Pardon me, senor, but I think I need to read exactly how this works. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Oh, I got it. Sort of. So we need to do... Fascinating. This is surprisingly difficult. So what we need to do is, okay. Huh. Okay, it, it makes sense. I just gotta figure out the spacing on it. Oh, you can afford to shoot one box. Oh! Oh, that's how it works. Okay. I didn't realize that there were you had two shots. Okay. Well, that made that made that a hell of a lot easier. I was really curious. Way to work is blocked. So I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Metaton? Yeah. He's the most popular star in the underground. This fan club probably has at least two, maybe three dozen members. Alpha's updated status. I wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. <laughs> what the devil? The door, e uh, the door leading through the area is closed. S so I tried the puzzle, but uh, kept running out of ammo and kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. Well... <laughs> yeah, this is why it tells you to go to the right side first, because it's a hell of a lot more obvious. I mean, well, true, I did have the uh, joy of experiencing the hard bit first, uh, the harder part first, just for the sake of because I can. All right, let's keep going. Alpha's updated status. Whatever, I'll just explain it. 
Ring. Uh, I, I, I think, um, hey! A bunch of puzzles on the left and right. They, they're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved them. Awesome! Okay, uh, sell. Papyrus and Undyne. Ring, ring. I heard you got to be Metaton! Really? Careful. That dude gives me bad vibes. What? But he, he's so popular! I don't care about people just because they're popular. Well, you can say that because you are popular! Psst. What? Popular with who? You're popular with me! Oh, Papyrus. You're so popular. You're popular with me too. Oh, wowie! Wait, does that mean you don't care about me? Papyrus, you dope. <laughs>